The issue I'm going to talk about today requires a minute or two of context to establish the problem, so if you're just here for the fix, I start explaining the process at around... With the world in complete and total disarray, the disappointing state of the current gaming industry, and many people unable to connect with their loved ones during the holidays, it makes a lot of sense that people will be taking to virtual reality to find some solace or emotional release. And there's a lot of top-shelf VR games that are absolutely worth spending your time on these days, so who can blame you? However, if you're in a situation similar to me, it's pretty much impossible to download custom songs in the BMBF channel in your Quest headset. Many people on Reddit are claiming this is due to the servers on Beast Saber and Beat Saber not working correctly. I don't know enough about server hosting to dispute this, but I know that it's at least not fully accurate. Now, when you're inside the in-headset browser, you can still browse and play songs with ease. You can even bring up the preview videos of the map stills, the data still seems to be accessible. The error only comes when you try downloading stuff. I consistently get told there's an error downloading the songs no matter what song I choose, and not a single one successfully even ends up in my downloaded songs folder. This is made all the more frustrating when you attempt to download them on your desktop because you can still download the tracks, it's just the Wi-Fi uploading system seems incapable at receiving them. I've got a workaround for this issue that's so incredibly simple, you're gonna be wishing you thought of it first. I'm not going to pat this video out for time though, so let's just get on with it. Since there's already plenty of videos telling you how to install SideQuest or BMBF on your Quest or Quest 2, uh, I'm not going to be covering that portion of the process. This is just a tutorial focused on fixing the custom songs issue that multiple people have ran into and still don't really have a fix for yet. So the tutorial is made with the assumption that the two methods of adding them in the headset and then adding them via your desktop in a Wi-Fi link is not working correctly. For the fix, first you'll need to exit Beat Saber and preferably BMBF inside your Oculus Quest headset. You can do this by either closing the apps manually or restarting your console. Then you're going to want to link your Oculus Quest to your computer via a USB so that you can access the internal files at the top right of SideQuest. It should be the folder icon up there. You're going to end up looking at a screen that looks kind of like this. Uh, your file directory should say that you're looking at the data inside SD card. Uh, because these directories seem to be defaulting to alphabetical order, you're going to find your BMBF data near the top. Go ahead and click on the folder. You'll then find a folder called Custom Songs All One Word. Opening it reveals all your currently downloaded custom tracks, if you have any. Go ahead and get some custom songs wherever you prefer, and the songs you download are probably going to be zip files, so you don't want to drop them in the Custom Songs folder just yet. I don't know if it's fully necessary, but seeing as they're all given to the custom levels by BMBF and not by the websites that allow you to download them, I think that the formatting might be important in having the game recognize these as levels. So your next step for all of these zip files you downloaded is to give them the prefix of that custom songs. You can do this really easily by highlighting all of them first, then renaming one of them custom underscore level underscore just whatever you want. It's going to keep the prefix for all of them, but then it's going to list them sort of numerically. Extract these archives to separate folders, like so. Drag the folders, and not the RAR files, into the side quest folder where all your levels are stored. This next part needs to be done in the headset, and since BMBF channel is a blocked application, I can't directly show you how to do this. It's very simple, but just in case, you're about to see a lifelike rendering of what the screen should look like. When you are in BMBF, you'll start in the browser part, but go over to Tools. Reload your Beat Saber Songs folder. Given that the process was successful, you can go over and head to the playlist on the left side. You should see your new songs at the bottom of the playlist if everything worked correctly. After that's done, you should see a glowing uh, orange Sync to Beat Saber button at the top right. Wait for it to sync, and then you're all set. Your new songs are waiting for you. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any problems during this process and still need help for whatever reason, you can find my Twitter link below, and my DMs are always open. I'll try to check comments on this video periodically. Uh, if you'd like to support me personally because of my winning personality, I stream on Twitch every once in a while, but I'd actually rather make a request of you. If you're watching this video, and you map songs for Beat Saber, or you know someone who can, please, for the love of God, can we get more King Gizzard tracks in the game. Uh, the only two that are currently available are extremely hard, and I've yet to beat even one of them, so please, I'm on my knees here, I'm, I'm begging you, please. Uh, thanks for watching. Give this a share if someone you know could benefit from the video. Thanks so much.